Hello, Nez Nation. So Fanny, Fanny, Fanny Willis has finally responded to the cell phone data release by special investigator, um, which unequivocally proves putting the two of them together prior to what they said under oath that they had a relationship together. And now Fanny Willis claims that the cell phone data putting Nathan Wade near her home is completely irrelevant. So let's let's go through this really quickly. This is really, really interesting. So embattled, obviously, if you haven't seen the video of me going through each heat map, each Hawk analytic data sheet and data spreadsheet, going through all of the different various uh, 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 pings on Nathan Wade's cell phone after hours near Fanny uh, 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 Willis's house puts them together over 35 times. You got to check out that video. I'll leave it in the end screen or just go to my YouTube channel and check it out or my Rumble. Um, emba embattled Fulton County District Attorney Fanny hit back with new allegations that her romantic relationship with special prosecutor former president uh, uh, with the special prosecutor and former president Donald Trump's Georgia election fraud started before they both testified it did with her uh, by the way stick around because I'm going to share with you what I mean and why with an actual invoice proving that the Atlanta Police Department and the city of Atlanta have relied on this Hawks analytic uh, software since 2017 so Hang out for that. Um, Willis's office filed a rebuttal, damning the cell phone data, Nathan Wade's alleged overnight trips making it to, made to Willis's rented condo, as well as texts and phone calls saying it should not be entered into evidence in the hearings to see whether Willis should be disqualified from the case. Quote, the records do nothing more than demonstrate that special prosecutor well, Wade's telephone was located somewhere within a densely populated multiple mile radius where various residences, restaurants, bars, nightclubs, and other businesses are located, the prosecutor wrote. I mean, so she's fighting tooth and nail. I mean, she is not going to go gently or quietly into the night. It is beyond uh, uh, anybody's scope with any level of intelligence that Fannie Willis is one of the most corrupt district attorneys in the history of state uh, prosecution. I mean, she is, the swamp of her uh, corruption is so thick, deep, that I don't even know if we fully uncovered it. I mean, there's so much more to come out the lies the deceit the deception i've got tons of videos on this if you're not up to speed on this but basically she is a gigantic l huge liar uh, and nathan wade is no better the records do not prove in any way the content of the communications between special prosecutor wade and district attorney willis they do not prove that special prosecutor wade was ever at any particular location or address they do not prove that special prosecutor wade and district attorney willis were ever in the same place during any of the times listed but what is really interesting is i did some digging and deeping on these so-called restaurants and businesses located in the area nightclubs they were all closed at the times of the heat map at the times of the pings that nathan wade and Fannie Willis's cell phone data showed them to be together. So you can't blame that. You're just putting your foot further down your mouth, Fannie. Fess up for crying out loud. Um, just to go a little bit further on this, and this is, by the way, a New York, uh, this came out in the New York Post uh, today. According to the cell phone data presented in court, Wade frequented in the vicinity of Fulton County District Attorney Willis's condo in Hatfield at least 35 times before their confessed affair. One such visit even occurred prior to Willis's appointing Wade to prosecute Trump in the Georgia election fraud case. While Willis acknowledged the visits during a special hearing, which we've all, last week we all saw and, and you've seen all my videos, um, the, she sidestepped specifics regarding the frequency and timing. However, 
legal representatives pushing for Willis's disqualification mm. tapped a criminal defense investigator, which I went through an entire video, uh, which uncovered records and data detailing Wed's, Wade's presence in Willis's immediate vicinity. After hours, the majority, some like 200 times, the majority of the heat map showed after hours, by the way. So here's the big one right here. Here's the big one. Uh, in, the, in their late filing on Friday, Willis's lawyers also insisted that there is evidence showing Willis and Wade were not in the same place on the dates list, including at work at the Fulton County District's office and visiting three crime scenes where a mass murder motivated by race, gender, and bias had taken place. However, let me show you this to prove. So she tried to send dates and say, get like an alibi. I wasn't there on those dates. And the dates were uh, completely, <laughs> she shared dates from her email, from her calendar, from April. Watch this, this is amazing. Okay, so you can see here down below that she, she sent her email calendar for April 12th, 2021, saying that she had an anti-corruption meeting. Mm. So she claimed alibi, posting her calendar from April, May, and June. However, the relevant dates are September and November. So, I mean, not only is she just like, I mean, completely incompetent in every aspect of the word, but she can't even like... She's not even trying. I mean, she's just throwing everything she can, hoping somebody's going to go, oh, yeah, she has an alibi, even though she sent uh, 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 calendar dates that are completely non-sequential, do not correlate to the actual dates in question. I mean, what is wrong with this woman? Am I nuts? I mean, this woman is absolutely crazy. Okay, it gets even worse. Check this out. She claimed that it was irrelevant. She claimed that it is not, uh, uh, there's no basis for any of uh, the Hawks analytics uh, uh, data that was revealed by the special investigators, right? So check this out. Okay, so the city of Atlanta has as a vendor Hawk analytics dating back to 2017. They go back to 2017. So this was adopted, this CellHawk technology was adopted by the Atlanta Police Department uh, since 2017 as uh, the Fulton County District Attorney's Office utilized this software to prosecute cases. Look at this invoice. This is actual public record showing that the City of Atlanta, a one-year subscription to CellHawk Renewal Technology, one-year subscription, $5,000. You can see this. Look at the dates, October 11th, 2018. October 11th, 2018. These, this is an actual invoice. So what I'm trying to say here, as the title of this video suggests, if you've ever been prosecuted in the City of Atlanta or Fulton County, or by Fannie Willis for anything in the last seven years, couldn't they use this as a defense? Couldn't they use her own words as their own defense? She says it's completely irrelevant and it has little evidentiary value. Well, this is the same exact technology. And by the way, the special investigator said this is the gold standard and many law enforcement have uh, uh, experts have corroborated this. So wait a minute, if this is irrelevant and has little quote unquote evidentiary value, well then you just opened up a gigantic can of worms, didn't you, Fanny? O-M-G. Guys, this could be absolutely disastrous for Fanny Willis. I mean, not only is she a terrible liar, not only is she completely corrupt and rotten from the inside out, not only did she lie and not only did she, she dishonored her oath of office, um, she actually now has opened up, uh, it seems to me, a, an alleyway, a, a, a total like golden ticket to every case that's ever been prosecuted, okay, 
in Fulton County District's office because she used this software. They employed this vendor for the Atlanta City Police Department. So wait a minute, wait a minute. If you actually use this software and you're saying that it's non-evidentiary and has have little relevance, little value, what could all the people who have actually been prosecuted using this as evidence against them, why can't they say the same thing? You tell me, Nez Nation. Holy macadamia nut. She is not going down without a fight. Somebody commented recently, I don't know if it was on TikTok or YouTube, somebody commented recently and said like, oh, Fanny is a fighter. She's a hero. She's more, she won't back down. Yeah, there's 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 nothing wrong with fighting and there's nothing wrong with backing down, but when it's absolutely just completely in black and white that you are nothing but a depraved, lying, corrupt um individual who have criminal who have, who is should never be anywhere near public office, now this fighting and clawing and scratching and throwing everything that she can just looks absolutely capital p pathetic what do you think of fanny willis's response what do you think of her saying that this is irrelevant what do you think of these invoices what do you think of you know the the fact that she tried to lazily throw this deflection i have an alibi look i was prosecuting other cases i was taking care of business fanny that was for april it wasn't for the dates in question. No, no, no. The cell phone data only shows, that, you know, there's a lot of businesses. There's a lot of restaurants. They're all closed. When they hit and ping the hottest, which showed the two of you together after hours, those restaurants are not open. They're closed. Those businesses are not open. They're closed. You're done. You're finished. Hasta la pasta. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. I want to throw this over to you. Let's dive deep into the comments. I want to hear from you. Gosh, this story just gets juicier and juicier and juicier. What do you guys think of this? Again, my aim in the comments, I want the comments to not just be like, yeah, cool, or thumbs up. I want thoughtful. I want a, a debate. I want discourse. Feel free to disagree with me. I'm happy to be wrong. I want to bring this country together. I want to bridge the divide. I think the best way to do that is to communicate with one another, especially from people who perhaps have an opposing view. Is there something I missed? Help me out. If you're a legal expert or maybe you've had some experience in this law enforcement, I want to hear from you. I love America. I love my country. I will die for this country. And it pains me. It, it absolutely breaks my heart to see what's happening, that we can't have civil discourse. We can't have civil debate. It makes no sense at all. So if you're going to personal attack ad hominem, I'm not even going to respond to you. But if you have something to say, please, I encourage you. I mean this sincerely. I want you to comment down below. Let me know what you think. I will try with my whole soul best to respond to all the comments. I, I want to really make this comment section enthralling, vivacious, lively, just like the America of old days where we used to get around with our buddies during our lunch break and talk about things. But even if we disagreed, we always got each other's back. There's nothing wrong with disagreeing. That's the beauty of free choice, free expression of the freedoms that, you know, so many people have fought and died for in this country. The freedom to disagree and not treat each other like animals respect respect is important as always if you've made it this far make sure that you sign up for our free newsletter in the pin comment description and show notes make sure you check that it's free just give us your best email and you'll always be in the know because they're probably going to delete this youtube channel they're going to delete this podcast god knows um so because a lot of the powers that be in these platforms they don't like what i'm saying not not even close so sign up for our free newsletter in the pinned comment and in the description and show notes. It's absolutely free. We don't spam. We don't share your email. You'll always be the first to know breaking news, breaking videos, breaking updates that legacy media will never share, that the mainstream media will never share. You're only going to get that here. So make sure you sign up. Check out these videos uh, right here on the right that go a little bit deeper, especially the one where I talk about the phone records. If you haven't seen that video, check it out right here. And then this video right here about the judge and how the judge donated. We go deep into that. Check that out right there. Subscribe, follow. As always, may God bless you and God bless these United States of America. I'll see you soon.